Hey everyone, my name is Nate. I'm a product manager at Sphero, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Bolt Power Pack. The Bolt Power Pack is your all-in-one durable lockable storage for a classroom set of Bolt robots. It comes with 15 robots and an accessory pack full of some uh, goodies that we'll take a look at here in just a second. If you open up the accessory box on the side of the power pack, you're gonna be met with a few things. First thing, stickers. A box of protractors. And a drawstring bag full of turbo covers. And the turbo covers are here to protect your bolt from scratches and wear and tear if you're using it on hard surfaces but it also provides a great uh, traction on really slick surfaces as well. You'll notice on the turbo cover that it just slides right on and there will be a crease between it, um, which you'll be able to see, and that is perfectly normal on your robot. Now, in your box, but not inside the power pack, comes the Bolt Power Pack Educator Guide. And the Bolt Power Pack Educator Guide comes with eight easy to get started lessons for your classes without having to set up a lot of accounts or maintenance inside the Sphero EDU app. All right, so let's talk about charging up your robots and having them ready for your classroom use. Inside the accessories compartment comes the power supply. You plug one side into the wall and the barrel plug will be plugged into the back side of your power pack. Once you have your power pack plugged into the wall, you can go ahead and turn on the rocker switch on the front and you'll notice there's an LED that pops up and that will tell you that the power pack is receiving power from the wall. Now, once you've turned your power pack on, let's talk about some of the visual indicators that you'll see inside your power pack to know if your robots are charging. On the cradle themselves, you will notice that there is a blinking blue LED. That means that the robot is charging. Once that blue LED is solid, that robot has become fully charged and is ready for your use in the classroom. Now, when the cradle is flashing that blue LED, meaning your robot is charging, just know that it's going to take about six hours for your Bolt battery to be fully charged. So it's come to the end of the day on a Friday afternoon, your kids have been programming all day. It's time to put your robots away and put it into storage. We recommend for prolonging your robot and its battery, putting it into a storage mode by turning it completely off. In order to turn your robots off, you're going to go individually in your power pack and you're going to push the button on the cradle while removing a bolt individually one at a time. Now that you've powered off all of your robots individually and taken them out of the power pack, you're gonna turn the power pack case off, return your bolts back to the cradles, and you'll notice that now that it's not receiving any power, the robots will not turn back on. You'll take your power supply and put it back into the compartment. Then you can close it up, put it in a nice cool storage room, and then the next time you need it, you pull out your power pack again and plug it back in to charge those robots back up for some more programming. Now, in order to get your students connected to the robots quickly, we recommend what we call the Harry Potter method, where the robot chooses the programmer. The best way to do this is to have your students form a single file line. The first person in line will connect to the robot in the Sphero EDU app. They'll click the top robot that shows up in the list of available robots. Whatever robot lights up, they take and walk away with their programming device. Now with Bolt, there are a couple LED indicators that you'll want to be aware of. The first one you'll notice is that when you power a robot on for the first time or after it's been in a deep sleep for storage, there'll be a pulsing blue light. That pulsing blue light means that it's booting up and it's getting ready to pair. If you ever see a flashing red light, that's a critical low battery you'll want to return that bolt to the cradle and charge it up so that you can use it with your kids the next time. Your Sphero Bolt and the Bolt Power Pack will come with the most up-to-date firmware. However, if you see a pulsing orange light, that means your robot is going through a firmware update. Now, if your robot needs a firmware update, it will automatically take place when you connect your robot to the Sphero EDU app. If, for some reason, you are using an old version of the Sphero EDU app, you may see an option to perform a firmware update for your robot. This is not necessary because a firmware update will automatically happen if it needs to. One unique thing about your Bolt Power Pack is the ability to break it down into small components. If you want to set up a lending library or if you want to lend a Bolt to a classroom across the hallway, 
You can actually remove a cradle from the power pack by pushing down the button and unplugging the USB cable. And you can just pass this cradle off with the robot to another class. All they have to do now is just plug it in with the regular micro USB cable and charge it up if they need to recharge the robot. Now, if you need additional help, please reach out to our support team at the email support at Sphero.com. And if you're looking for some tips on implementing Sphero Bolt into your classroom, feel free to reach out to our training team at the email training at Sphero.com. We can't wait to see what your students create. Happy coding.